Hey all. Well, um, it's been an interesting uh, 12 or so hours. Um, I got home from work last night because I went in for a couple of hours to cover. And I received, I got home and uh, on my bed was a letter. It's an envelope addressed to me with a stamp on it. And I opened it up and inside was this letter. Letter read as follows. Dear Deborah. Perhaps if you stop fressing at Patisse and mooching at other, uh, other food establishments and food shows, you and the mister could send your kids to yeshiva. Your behaviour shows your priorities. You should keep on wearing sunglasses out of embarrassment. Tata, darling, spelt D-A-H-L-I-N-G, which is sometimes how I spell it. I usually stick an R in there somewhere. So, yes. Hmm. Not going to address the sunglasses. At least to say light sensitivity issue doesn't faze me when people have a go about my sunglasses anymore. It's been so long. Anyway, uh, fressing. The word fressing means um, eating. The word mooching means free stuff or getting free stuff, taking free stuff, you know, asking. Well, first of all, I never ask for free stuff. So either way. Um, so which I find quite funny because if I'm getting my food for free, wouldn't I be able to afford to send my kids to Yeshiva anyway? Yeah. So this is um, this is not a, a bashing of yeshivas, by the way. Let me make that very, very clear. I also believe the person that wrote this does not actually either have children or children in yeshiva, but that's a whole other conversation. What I am going to say is, is that when you receive, when people like try to judge you and tell you what to do, don't listen. In one ear, out the other. Honestly, other people's judgments are not your problem. Okay, how other people view you, people get very concerned. Oh, are they going to think? You know what? I don't care. I don't care what other people think. And if other people are having like, it's when I check, here's a perfect example. When I changed my Instagram name from my name to hashtag, oh, I love this bit. Hang on. Hashtag kosher alcoholic. <laughs> I love it. My daughter made this for me. Um, I had people coming up to me and saying, you know, we're very concerned. I'm like, why are you so concerned? Well, you know, alcoholic, your name or whatever. I'm like, okay. So the fact that I'm 100% kosher in what I eat and either I make alcoholic drinks or I like alcoholic drinks makes me an alcoholic. Your term of the word alcoholic, your, your definition of it is different to mine. When I say alcoholic, I'm thinking alcoholic drinks. When you say alcoholic, you're thinking alcoholic. That tells me more about you and the way you think than it does than to concern about me. So, didn't bother me. I mean, I had a lot of concern. So, I took that concern and shoved it up there to horses. Or rather, I used it to motivate myself to keep on doing what I was doing. Not knowing what I'm doing, just hoping I'm doing something to entertain. I hope that what I'm putting out into the world people are enjoying. That I'm being informative. Slightly ridiculous at times. And at some, po at some point soon I will hopefully get my tuchas back into the gym. And we can start making fun of me standing upside down and all my bits going flying in different directions. Because I never know what's going on where. But in the meantime, let's just say I do not um, acquiesce to bullies. And all this has done is created a huge amount of amusement in our household. Thankfully, my children have as much of a sense of humour as I do. And we've all found this extremely funny. However, I do know that there are people out there that could receive something like this. And it can really affect them deeply. And what I say to all of you is don't let other people's judgment affect you. Don't worry about what others are thinking. Okay, if you're doing something and you're confident and happy in what you're doing... Don't let that be, a, don't let what others are thinking be a reason to stop you. If that was the case, I wouldn't have started bartending. It ain't an easy job and it's definitely not, oh gosh, you're, you know, a 46 year old woman with a degree in children. What are you doing bartending? Do you know what? I meet a lot of interesting people now. Sometimes I grumble and bitch like a, that's only because I've got a bad back issue and when we fix that I'll be fine. But for me, it's the fact that I get up, I go and do my job, 
badly well. I learn more. I, I Each time I do something better, the electrics went out in the building. I now know how to fix it and all the different learning things. And, you know, making suggestions for different items for the menu, having it being listened to, things like that. You know, it's good for the ego. It makes you feel better. There is no way I can do a nine to five desk job anymore, as uh, was evident by the fact that the last time I did one of those, my back went out. So I have to figure out ways that I can hustle and do what I need to do. And thankfully, the bartending gig is uh, is I really enjoy. And uh, as I said, I get to I get to be in restaurants. I get to go to some very interesting places. Uh, please God, I'll get to go to some more. Anybody wants to fly me anywhere? Hi, I'm ready. My passport is almost is is being renewed, so I can even go overseas. Hello, I'm available for Pesach programs. If anybody wants me, I'm heard I'm slightly amusing. Maybe could be the accent. And uh, yeah, what it does is letters like this do is it motivates me to keep on doing what I'm doing. So do not let anybody in life ever, ever, ever put you down and make you feel less than. For many years, I listened to people telling me that I shouldn't be doing this and I shouldn't be doing that and you should be doing this. And, that. and it gets in your head. Don't let it. Or, as I like to say, hashtag IDGAF. I don't give a fuck. And that is way is the mantra when you're doing your om. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Oh no, bad language. Lost an earring. Who cares? You know what? I don't give a fuck. So, if you're going to try and bully me with snail mail, ain't going to work. What it is going to do, I'm going to take this letter straight over to the Teaneck Police Department in just a few short moments. And uh, I'm going to leave it with them. going to let them deal with it. But I want it back because this is getting framed. I mean, come on. My first piece of hate mail. Actual hate mail. You've got to love it. So to the person that sent this to me, thank you very much. And all you've done is you've just made me want to keep on keeping on. And uh, as for the sunglasses, I will be keeping on wearing them. But not from embarrassment. No, 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 no. I will be wearing them with pride and happiness. And with like, deuces. I gotcha. Anyway. Thank you all for listening to this little mumbling round. Um, I hope that at the end of the day, we can all learn to appreciate each other for who we are. And um, yeah, my adventure continues. Off to Teaneck Police Department I go. And then the last part of this video. If you enjoy my content and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button somewhere on so I don't think it's on here but I think somewhere on the the video where it says subscribe please hit subscribe and uh hopefully I will load up some more stuff soon anyway have a good day everybody and hashtag kosher alcoholic on Instagram day-to-day -day kosher alcoholic way on Facebook and hashtag kosher alcoholic on YouTube and oh I think I've got a Twitter account now as well which also I think is kosher alcoholic so if you can't get enough of the kosher alcoholic you can find me almost everywhere. Now I've got to just get the content out. Anyway, have a good day, everybody. Great Tuesday. And uh, what's the rest of the week going to bring us?